welcome to Interstitial Cystitis Chronicles 2. Don't forget the two at the end and don't forget to like the Facebook page. Interstitial Cystitis Chronicles with the number two at the end. So let's just roll into it. We are going to talk about LDN, low dose naltrexin. No, 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 That's a shame. I'm sitting up here trying to discuss these things. Lord, mispronounce it. Have mercy on me. Like I always say, I'm not the doctor, okay? I'm not the licensed provider. I'm just, I'm just talking about it with you all. Okay, how you spell that? N-A-L-T-R-E-X-O-N-E. Naltrexone no, is a medication that works in the brain to treat dependence, dependence on alcohol or opiates. Now that's naltroxone. And I believe that milligram would start at 50 for it to be used as an antagonist to treat dependence on alcohol as well as opiates. How naltroxone was introduced to me in the form of LDN. It's a low dose going below the 50 milligram threshold. Yes, I have tried it for IC. And the very first time, I got it out the country actually. But, okay, so that was capsule form, but again, it's not safe to get things out of the country, but I did a lot of research and I felt comfortable moving forward and doing so. And things worked out just fine. The milligram that I had started with was three milligrams. Yeah, three milligrams, it was in a capsule form. But I wanted to be sure about what I was doing. So I then did look for a provider that does write a script for LDN, low dose naltrexone, because I wanted to be more informed versus just doing the research all online and then ordering something. I felt a lot more comfortable with talking with a licensed provider. And he just so happens to also be a functional medicine doctor so i'm like wow okay best of both worlds so after it was confirmed that this particular provider does write the script i then made an appointment to speak with him about the effects the benefits the pros the cons what form should i try it in that he would recommend because it comes in capsule which i already have tried that it also comes as tablets and that particular formulation, I want to say, is the most affordable only because that one isn't necessarily mixed by, excuse me, this, okay, my script, it, it does come from, once the script is written, it is submitted to, more than likely, it'll be a compounding pharmacy. So the compounding pharmacy, they can mix up the filler to your preference. Some people may want ginger in their compounded prescription. Some people may want, what else? Um, baking soda, that's an odd, excuse me, that's an option as well. There's other things as well that can be used as a filler because sometimes milk just is not agreeable. Lecto, excuse me, is not always agreeable with some people. So you do have the option to choose which filler you would like to be in your LDN if you do decide to try this through your license provider to send prescription to a compounding pharmacy. Basically, you're just not gonna go pick this up at your local Walmart, at your local 
Publix, at your local um, CVS pharmacy. Compounding, more than likely, is where that script will be filled. So in doing so, the script was filled. I found a compounding pharmacy locally. Um, they offered to ship it to me or I could come in person to pick it up. There's also compounding pharmacies out of town as far as you may find like a cheaper price or cheaper, excuse me, more reasonable than what you would locally. It just, it just depends. And then sometimes certain compounding pharmacies offer different fillers that you may be interested in. But I also did try the formulation of a suspension. So a sp suspension basically is a formula that you would take with a syringe or with a, a spoon because it's a suspension, it's liquid. So that way, you know, if you are using a syringe, you're able to do your dosing and do your measurements according to how your doctor prescribed for you to take it. Um, I started, since I, t I did tell the provider that I did order the LDN out of the country, he asked what milligrams it was, I told him three. So he asked me how did I do on it, I told him I did fine. So he said, okay, well, since you did fine on the three milligrams, let's up it to four cc's for me to take like that. Because uh, cc's or depending if I was gonna get the tablet, then that would have been four milligrams that was going to be prescribed for how that was written. Now, as far as the benefits are concerned, I did benefit. It helped me a great deal with nocturia, nighttime frequency. Nope, I was not getting up to go use the bathroom repeatedly, repeatedly over and over again. When I woke up in the morning, I did not feel groggy. Sometimes sleep aids, I'm not saying that's a sleep aid, but sometimes medication that does help you to fall asleep, but by the time you wake up to start your day, you might be feeling a little groggy, a little foggy. Never experienced that side effect, thank God. Also, I noticed that my energy level had improved because believe me, as some of you may know, if you're going to the bathroom repeatedly, you get wore down, you get wore out, you're tired, my gosh. That can be stress in itself. Also, I noticed the information was not as, well, it's not serious as far as like, I don't have to cast, I don't have to do that. But sometimes I would kind of push a little bit in order to avoid. You're not supposed to do that. I have taken, I was about to say a class, Lord have mercy. But I have taken, I have done pelvic floor physical therapy. So I was given some help, helpful tips on how to avoid to not strain the muscles. But again, using the LDN, I did notice that the inflammation, so the retention, that had really calmed down. But LDN is supposed to be like this miracle, this miracle drug that's supposed to like do all these amazing benefits. I don't know. I will say though, I was thankful for the energy. I was thankful for not having the retention. And again, it helped with nighttime frequency. Um, I will say my daytime frequency, it did lessen. Um, sometimes I do have abdominal pressure, pain, discomfort. I will say that was lessened. But again, having interstitial cystitis, we have some similarities as far as what the diagnosis consists of. But it's definitely not a one size fits all. So what may work for you or what your symptoms may be, may not be mine. And to tell you the truth, I know like for some people, oh Lord Jesus, I'm so sorry. But I do know that for some ICers, 
the pain is just unbearable that it will have you bound in bed from what has been shared with me on a personal level. I don't have that symptom where it's just downright unbearable. And I'm thankful, but at the same time, you know, I'm so sorry for the ones who are suffering to that extent. I do also have prodendal neuralgia. That is a subcategory diagnosis of interstitial cystitis. So I do fall under prodendal neuralgia. And I did notice that that was help. Prodendal neuralgia, nerves firing off. And that was so much better. Like I would constantly have these tingles going on, numbness feeling. Not so much as that. Sometimes I would get like a shooting pain every now and again, but that had really calmed down the prodendal neuralgia. So if you're thinking about giving LDN a try, definitely talk to your licensed provider about it. Also do some research on it so you can be prepared what questions to ask your provider. But it definitely was worth a try for me and I'm glad I did try it. And again, I'm so thankful I didn't experience like all these like really, really weird side effects. But again, it did help in ways. I'm glad I tried it. So that's it for now. Signing off, interstitial cystitis chronicles to holla you later.